What's up guys? I am starting this look off today with my Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. Had taken a break from this for a little bit because I had some breakouts, texture issues with my skin, but now that I have that under control, I am back to using it and loving it. And to apply that, I'm actually using a brush from the Wet n Wild Pro Collection. Actually, all the brushes you see in this tutorial are going to be from that collection, so they're also from the drugstore too. With allergy season and decongestants drying me out, I've gotten in the habit of conditioning my lips while I'm doing my makeup to make sure they're nice and hydrated once the look is done. So this is my Lana Lips Lemonade Lip Treatment that I'm just giving a quick once over to my lips. Then to conceal, I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear and applying that to my under eye area and anywhere I have active or healing breakouts. And to blend that in, I'm just using my fingers. I really tend to prefer them over brushes just because I find the heat from my hands helps my product sink in and really just melt into my skin so it looks ultra natural. For the base of my shadow look today, I'm going in with the Revlon Colorstay Cream Eyeshadow in the shade Chocolate. It's this deep but slightly cool chocolate brown, and it contrasts the warmth of the copper palette that I'm going to use here later just to help tone it down. On my neutral skin tone, I find that super warm coppers can make me look a little sick, a little washed out, and so to help counter that, I find that sometimes using a cooler base really helps balance everything out. Speaking of the eyeshadow, this is another eyeshadow palette from Revlon, the Colorstay Looks Books in the color palette Maverick. And I'm first starting with the deeper matte orangey shade in here and running that through my crease. Then going into the lighter metallic copper shade, using a flat but still kind of fluffy shader, I'm patting that all over pretty much the entirety of my lid, really building up that pigment and blending it up to it where it meets that crease color that I just applied. And to help make my inner corner pop, I'm just flipping that same brush that I just used over, going in with that lightest shimmery gold shade and using that on about the outer third of my eye. For the lower lash line, I'm keeping it simple and using a small detailer brush to go into the light coppery matte peach shade in this palette and just running that all along my lower lash line. Lastly, to add some extra drama to the outer corner, I'm taking that same brush that I used on my lower lash line and going into the deepest matte shade in this palette and just patting that in my outer corner and blending it through my crease. Then to define my lash line, I'm going in with a deep chocolate brown eyeliner from the brand Collab, running that along my waterline right before I finish up my eye look with lashes. This is my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. On to brows, I'm using my CoverGirl Ultra Fine and Define Brow Pencil. Love this to add a little bit of fullness to my brows and also define the edges. I find specifically my brows tend to thin right around the top of my arch area. So I find this is super useful for getting really natural and hair-like looking strokes. Now moving on to bronzer, I'm using Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Sunset Strip Tease and running that broadly through the contours of my cheeks up into my temple and then along my jawline. And then for blush, I'm using e.l.f.'s Luminous Blush in the shade Radiant Peach, taking that on a fluffy powder brush, starting blending at the apples of my cheeks and then working it all the way back towards my hairline. Gotta finish off the face with a highlight. This is Milani's Strobe Light Instant Glow Powder in the shade number two or Day Glow. And I'm just patting that along uh, the tops of my cheekbones. I'm keeping the lips nice and simple here, which I feel like I say in every video. Bottom line is I'm probably just pretty lazy with my lips, but this is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit High Shine Lipstick in the shade Send Nudes. Just putting that all over my lips and then calling it a day before I finish off the look with my Magnetic Accent Lashes from Ardell. These are, of course, totally optional, but I love the shape that they give my eyes, but you definitely don't need them. That is the entire look, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.